morning everybody it is day 38 and it is raining uh, 7.7 7 miles to fresh ground yeah so he's cooking us chicken noodle soup and grilled tree sandwiches today which is perfect because it's cold and rainy um yeah i'm out of the smokies today <sighs> did it I'm almost done it <sighs> i'm so excited <sighs> another big thing off the list so this would be the, of the 10 highest mountains, mountain number one, two, and three will be taken care of in the Smokings. Number four is Roanoke. Rowan, not Roanoke, Rowan Mountain in Virginia. Anyway, so excited. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. We had a good night. I slept really good. Actually, it was warm last night. Took off layers, which is really nice. Took off my hoodie and my um, puffy jacket last night and my socks, so whew, it's great. Nice to be warm, and I didn't get up once to use the bathroom last night, not once. Oh, I'm telling you what, I'm living the dream. <laughs> anyway, the shelter is packed. There's like 25, 30 people here. There's so many people, and only three of them are section hikers. So anyway, we're either going to Standing Bear, or we're going to get a hotel in the little town down here. We haven't decided yet to stay the night, so we'll see. All right, cheers. Good morning, everybody. This is Siesta. Siesta and Siesta. What did you do a few years ago? I uh, southbound with the PCT. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. 2016. That was a good time. Wow. And you live in? I live in Northern Kentucky. All right. And he's out hiking with a couple of buddies, just section hiking. Yeah, okay. I hiked from Springer to Bennington, Vermont, and chunks. I blasted it. But uh, yeah, we usually get out a couple times a year, do a couple of sections. That's so. awesome, man. Your buddies are great too. Yeah. <laughs> Just spin around and see them. Oh, uh, here we go. Say hello. Morning. Hey. Who are you? What's your trail name? Cheesy does it. Cheesy does it. How'd you get that? Uh, because I carry spray cheese with me. <laughs> Cheesy does it. <laughs> Who are you? Squeaks. Squeaks. Yeah. Uh, how'd you get that? I got it from my old pack. It used to squeak all the time. <laughs> That's awesome. And you guys also live in northern Kentucky. We do. You yeah. do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. you guys are awesome. I'm glad you guys are out. Yeah. yeah. It was a good guys. time. Yeah. It's gonna spend a couple days. Yep. All right, take care, man. Yep, yeah, thanks. Right, bye. Hear the wind? Wind and rain today, folks. And it is windy on the ridge. You have to have both poles in the ground at all times. Keep yourself from falling over when that wind hits you. Anyway, kind of secluded by the mountain a little bit for a little while. I think that rain has stopped. It's just really, really windy. So I wanted to talk a little bit about mindset because these young hikers, we're talking about how going up from the knock was so easy and they enjoyed it so much and how they really, really hated Jacob's Ladder. And I was like, in my mind, Jacob's Ladder was way easier. But the, Jacob's Ladder was also after I had a rest day and so I had fresh legs. Um, also, I just felt, you know, I had the energy of all those day hikers and I felt strong and it was my first day where I felt like, wow, I'm getting stronger, I'm getting in shape. So is it our minds that dictate how hard this is? Or is it both, how hard it is and our minds? Because the knock for me was murder. I was literally doing 
a hundred steps, stop and take a break. A hundred steps, stop and break, take a break. Do that for six miles uphill. Straight up, most of it. That was a difficult climb. It was the worst one so far. Um, there's one part in the Smokies where the second um, six miles we did of that 12 mile day, whew, that one was murder for me too. So I've had two sections where I was like, this was rough, like rough. Anyway, um, but when those young guys who, I mean, literally, they're practically running through the trail with their packs and everything on. When they said that Jacob's ladder was hard, I didn't even feel Jacob's ladder hardly. Like, I was like, wow, that was it. I thought I missed it. Or I thought it was still coming um, when I got to the top. Like, there was another uphill coming. So, mindset. Definitely mindset in the rain, when you hike in the rain and it's like really, really windy like this, it changes how much you're enjoying this hike. But again, mindset. I don't know, I don't, I don't have the answer for changing the mindset to have like a positive, better attitude where you can just seize the moment and just enjoy it. Whether it's rain, shine, snow, cold, hot, I don't know. I mean, I know you have to embrace the uncomfortableness of the trail to be successful. Because if you get stuck in the wanting to change the uncomfortableness, you can't. And so you'll just be miserable the whole time. And misery does make time go slow. I'm talking slow. So, anyway, I guess that's part of a reminder for me as I said that out loud. It's just embracing that, hey, it's gonna be uncomfortable today. It's gonna be wet. Oh, my feet just got wet. There you go, there's another added uncomfortableness. Cold water. Um, just embracing it and and going for it uh, anyway I agree to hang out with an, a few other through hikers um, I don't remember their names and I'm gonna find out again today I met so many people last night but um, I don't know if we're gonna finish the Smokies today because we might get off and get picked up by a shuttle for the discerning hiker. We were gonna stay at Standing Bear and we're not afraid of Standing Bear. I'm not opposed to Standing Bear. I would stay at Standing Bear. I just wanna be able to wash my clothes. And I'm not about washing my clothes on a washing board and throwing them in the dryer. <clears throat> and I'm not sure how wrung out they get, so I don't know how long it takes to dry. And there's like 25 to 30 hikers around us right now. So imagine all those people trying to wash all their clothes on a washboard and they get them to dry. So unless there's information that I don't know, which is quite possible, maybe they have a ringer that they put them through to get all the excess water out just wasn't willing to do it. If I was just like passing through and didn't care if I washed my clothes and was just staying there the night, then maybe that's different. Now the temperatures again are going down. Snow again in the forecast. However, I may do some slack packing y'all. Um, I was kind of against that for it being a true through hike in my mind. But um, I'm thinking of maybe <clears throat> slot packing and staying in a warm hostel in the nights when it's bad, the weather. And uh, so we'll see what's going to happen. I don't know yet. But we are staying at the Discerning Hiker, which I think is in Hot Springs, but he's picking us up. So I don't know. But we're staying in a uh, cabin 
Uh, there's four of us. I'll be sleeping on the couch. And everybody else will have their own bed. All right. Well, cheers. On to another beautiful day. This is the trail. Oh, the whole thing is a trail. <laughs> oh, my feet got wet again. I guess on a day like this, it's unavoidable. I wish I had the uh, Hero 11 and I could take you all up hills and you could see some of the climbs and stuff. But as cool as that would have been, it would have been a whole lot more technology and how much more stuff to think about. I'm still amazed at how we did uh, the 12.9 or 13 miles yesterday, our most day, eight with the most miles in the Smokies too. Like that's pretty incredible. Um, I'm still amazed at how well your body recovers the next day. Thankful for daily savings. Man, we can get so much more done um, in the evenings before hike or midnight when it was dark at 6.37 everybody was already in their beds and you hated to be awake to disturb anyone oh by the way this morning woke up about 7.30 to a robin singing like crazy. I was like, man, that is the best way in the world to wake up. Absolutely amazing. nice when you get hidden from a mountain you don't have to be stuck in all that wind and everything I can hear it in the background and then you turn a corner and woof, it'll hit you straight in the face it was interesting the last two days hiking in the ice and the snow because you turn a corner of the mountain and it would be like this and then you turn another corner and be all ice or snow or like it just each little bend in the mountain as you followed the mountain side of the mountain was just would change all right cheers so this is unique actually let me go back here a second came from up there there's this rock you can stand on what I'm not going to go do 
but you get this incredible view out there. But I'm not gonna do it, sorry. Not getting up on my ro wet rocks. <clears throat> but then I come down here and it looks like we've got this stone wall. Wow. I wonder how this got here. And now back up hill. Cheers. Wow, y'all, this is really nice traveling here. I'm trying to get to Davenport Gap, which is the end of the Smokies. That's where fresh ground is. I think we're being, I don't know if we're being picked up there for a shuttle or not, but since it's nice out, I'd like to continue doing some more miles. Maybe get picked up a little further up, so we'll see what happens. Maybe too late to change whatever's been arranged. Wow, this reminds me of Georgia when we first started. The temperature's nice, there's no wind. No rain, sweating in this rain suit, but we're falling behind on our schedule, so I'm not stopping to, to get it off, get it, take it off. All right, cheers. All right, y'all, that is the Davenport Gap shelter down there. We are, unless the truck goes by it, we're not stopping. Well, we're not stopping anyway, but. one of the few shelters you crawled that you uh, hiked down to instead of hike up. I swear you're like a mile, two miles away from a shelter is like uphill almost the whole way. But anyway, we're making fantastic progress. I think this is going to be our fastest almost eight miles yet. So I got to get off here. All right, y'all. Look what I just came across. All through hikers, deposit permits here. So you put it in at the beginning of your hike and you dump it at the end. There I am. Woohoo! What do we got here? Oh, that's for all the people going south. All right. We are close to Davenport Gap, y'all, which means we're done the Smokies. Incredible. Awesome. Y'all, I just hiked the Smoky Mountain National Park. I did it. Oh, and here's the road. I did it. I did it. Couch. From the couch. Rolling off the couch. She did it. Come on, y'all. You can do anything. I promise you, anything. Anything. You can do whatever it is you want to do. Go for it. Do something for yourself. Do something awesome for yourself. Look at that. Trail Magic. Leapfrog Cafe. There he is. Right there. Okay. Did you kill this bear? This young bear attacked a visitor, inflicted a bite wound to the visitor's foot, forced to euthanize her. All right, just got fed by Fresh Ground. The best grocery sandwiches, hands down in the world. Man, he can make a grilled cheese. Uh, salad, spinach, Vegetables, oh my gosh, so good. Best blueberry pancakes I've ever had as well. Not even playing. Yeah, he's an amazing cook. That's all for a ministry, y'all. He does not get paid to do that. He doesn't get, he, his nonprofit is the kind where he can't take a wage from it. And so, he lives very, very, very frugally so that he can serve others. He's amazing. And he does it with such love and positivity 
and devotion. He's, he's incredible. So, I know his, the nonprofit takes money to feed hikers. But, if it's on your heart at all to donate to him personally, to help him along and pay his expenses, <coughs> And you feel led to do that. I'm not pushing it or anything. I'm just letting you know. He's on Facebook. You can talk to him there. All right. Y'all, I'm going uphill. I'm not using my poles. And I'm talking to you. Wow. Who needs a hero 11? Ah. Huh. The forest here smells amazing. Like really good. I can't even describe it. I've never smelled anything like it before. But it smells good. So we're going to the I-40 intersection, which is two miles, and being picked up by discerning hiker hostel. We're staying there at a cabin that is supposed to be amazing. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna get dropped off at that same place, hike to uh, Max Patch, get picked up by Laughing Heart Hostel, and then have Laughing Heart Hostel drop us off the next day at Max Patch, and we'll slack pack to Laughing Heart Hostel. Those might be our biggest days yet. And then we'll be past the bad weather again. So we got snow and really cold temperatures coming again. Y'all. Oh, it smells so good in here. It doesn't smell like Christmas, like Christmas trees, pine trees. But it smells delicious. Not delicious, not like you want to eat it. Just like the freshest room you could possibly have in the house. Like the most amazing scented candle you could ever have. Anyway, y'all, I did the smokies. <laughs> I'm blown away. One of the other hikers said, never will I step foot in the Smoky National Forest again. <laughs> it's rough, y'all. There's no doubt about it. It's rough. But I did it. I did. And probably, you know, unless I had family that wanted to go back in there and do it, I probably wouldn't do it either. Maybe unless I knew for sure there was good weather. Because. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to get off here. I'm talking too much today. Y'all, another hiker suggested to just do like a little jog when you're coming down hills if there's no rocks. Man, that sure does speed up the process. But then I came up to this and I was like, Wow. And two minutes ago, Interstate 40, The Matrix. I almost recorded it for you, but I'm glad I decided to record you this instead. Beautiful. Imagine drinking from that. This is, this is the best tasting water ever. I'm sorry, I can't help myself, but the trail is following this stream. There was another place um, oh, going into Newfound Gap where the trail was following a stream. 
and I didn't record it and I wish I would have. Man, this is amazing, y'all. This is amazing. So peaceful. Look at that. It's happening, y'all. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, by the way, what's the rush today? At 2, 2.30, a downpour and cold weather's coming and then snow in the night. So we're all trying to get to our respective places before this horrible um, weather in an hour. Oh, look. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, there it is. Nice. Trying to hurry and not ruin your footage. All right, y'all. Peace. It's incredible. Thank you.